The deaths of Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd and Breonna Taylor have even filled South Alabama with frustration. Hundreds of people flooded downtown Mobile demanding change at this protest in May. And now, weeks later, police reform talks come to Mobile. Today, the Mobile City Council started its review of police policies. But there's a major problem. The Mobile Police Policy Manual is not available to the public. NBC 15's Corey Pippen questioned the chief about whether that secret document will ever see the light of day. Corey? Kim, NBC 15 News has been asking for years to see the Mobile Police Department's policies and procedures, and so have other groups. Tonight, Chief Patisse says the release of their manual is being considered. Tonight, the policies and procedures that guide Mobile Police officers day to day remain behind closed doors, despite requests by NBC 15 News and social activist groups. The NAACP and the Alabama ACLU have requested this for over two years. Tiffany Trotter is a member of the activist group Mobile for Us. They too have requested the documents only to be denied. The reason they refuse to give the um, police training manual is an issue of security, but it's an issue of security on both sides. Trotter joined numerous residents with concerns today during a special meeting held by the Mobile City Council about police reform. Our taxpayer dollars pay for your department why can I not know your tactics? For instance, if an officer feels justified in their actions, that's a very vague issue. Council members say they will review the policies, but Councilman C.J. Small agreed police policies should be public knowledge. I am um, having high hopes that the citizens of Mobile would get what they've been asking for. Chief Batiste says the release of the policy manual is something the department is considering. We're looking to see what other large departments outside are, are, are doing. Uh, nationally. Uh, we're talking about a document that's, that's well over 800 pages. Chief Petit says the release isn't necessarily an issue of security and they don't have anything to hide. Not all times does a lay person understand what they're reading in a policy and so our goal is to try to make sure that we don't confuse the public about what they're reading. If you want to be a major national player, which Mobile wants to be, then they need to be transparent on all aspects. Chief Batiste says the department has released individual policies in the past. If the manual is released, Chief Batiste says it will likely be done on the police department's website. Reporting live in Mobile tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News. Corey, thank you. Mayor Sandy Stimson has promised a task force will review several city departments, including the police. The mayor specifically mentioned implementing the eight can't wait policies. A police reform campaign has suggested eight no-cost strategies departments can use. They include banning chokeholds, requiring de-escalation, changes on use of firearms, and more tracking uses of force.